At Architecture and Vision, we have a dream that one day we will live on a planet where we will share all the resources. The World Health Organization is estimating that 2.3 billion people on the planet don't have access to hygienic water. So early this year, we went to Addis Ababa for, for a conference and we went in contact with a reality which was already known to us. And in a second trip, a uh, few months later on, we went to North Ethiopia and we visited those villages and we really seen with our eyes what is the situation there. Women and children are working for several kilometers every day in order to bring back to the village uh, potable water. So we seen that with our eyes and uh, it is a reality. From that, the concept to have a structure that could provide with water placed in the landscape wherever is needed in order to avoid to those people, to those children, to spend hours to transport also this very heavy you know, tank of water but actually use this time to study, to learn and to, to be educated. So as a designer we made some, some proposal and we design what we call the Warka. The name Warka actually comes from a tree in Ethiopia, the Warka tree, which is a very important element in the Ethiopian culture. It's a big, huge tree, which is actually disappearing. And under this tree, the main uh, life on those villages is happening. So under the shade of this tree, the education is, um, is going on, so there are school, children, um, also it's a place where people, they meet. So the idea is to provide with potable water, catching from the air during the night the, the water itself. The structure is built out of bamboo, it's a very light structure and also at the same time very strong. It's built in section, so we have five different modules and they are also erected and assembled by local people without use of machinery and heavy tools, but just with the uh, collaboration of, of five, uh, six people. Inside the structure made out of bamboo with this kind of um, basket shape, there is a textile which is meant to, to, to collect the water. The textile based on nylon and that's the capacity during the night to collect the water up to uh, 30, 40 liters a day. We have been uh, constructing already two prototypes. The first one in Addis Ababa with the help of the students of the University of Architecture and the second one uh, in Venice during a workshop and where we built the one-to-one -one prototype to test the structure. So the idea is to develop further this, um, this, this project in order to test all the different aspects because even if it looks kind of simple, made out of simple material, has to be tested because it's like a machine in order to be able to provide water and energy. At Architecture and Vision we have a dream that one day in our planet we will equally share resources.